Let's practice your advanced English speaking and idioms. Let's go. In today's lesson, we are going to focus on speaking. That means you are going to get many, many chances to speak English in this lesson. You're also going to learn a lot of new idioms. So this is the perfect lesson for you to build your vocabulary and to begin to speak more fluently. So in today's lesson, this is what we'll do. We will read a conversation. You'll see the conversation on the screen. There'll be two people speaking. I'll be one person, you'll be the other person. I'll read black, you read red. Now in today's conversation, it's going to be about two people who are at the office on a Monday morning. So they've returned to work after the weekend and they're seeing each other in the office. So this is a business setting between two colleagues. All right, so remember, I'll read the letters, I'll read the sentences that are in black, you'll read the sentences that are in red. Now, don't worry, you will get a second chance. We will switch. We'll switch roles, and then you'll read the other person's role while I read the other person's role as well. And then we're not done there. At the very end, after two times of speaking, I will give you five idioms from this conversation. So we will build our new idiom vocabulary. All right, so make sure you try to, you try to speak at a native speed because I will go quickly in this conversation. Okay, so in the first conversation, I'll read black, you read red. Let's go. Hey Taylor, how was your weekend? Nice, sounds relaxing. I went hiking with some friends. I hit up that new trail upstate. It was gorgeous. It was amazing, but definitely not a walk in the park. Some of the paths were really steep. I am sore all over today. Yeah, it's a real workout. On the bright side, the views were totally worth it. I got some great photos. For sure, you should. It's always fun with more people. Anyway, uh, how's your week shaping up? I hear you. I've got a ton of meetings myself. It's going to be a marathon, not a sprint. Absolutely. Let's grab a coffee before we dive into work. Sounds good. See you there. Okay, so that was the first time. Now in this conversation, I was the first person, you read the second person. Now if you liked this kind of practice, if it's useful, if you enjoyed speaking English at a native English speakers speed, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Give me a thumbs up and hit that notification bell. But don't stop there. We still have one more chance for you to practice your speaking. This time we are going to switch. This time you will read the first person, I'll read the second person. So again, you'll start, but you're going to read the same thing. You're going to read red I'll read black, all right? But you're going to start the conversation. And then after that, we'll look at some idioms. Okay, so let's go.
Hey, Alex. That was pretty chill. I just hung out at home and caught up on some Netflix. What about you? That's awesome. I've been meaning to try that trail. How was it? Oof, that sounds intense. I'll have to get my act together before tackling something like that. Nice. I've been wanting to get out and do something active. Maybe I'll join you next time. Uh, it's been a bit hectic. I'm swamped with a couple of big projects. Looks like it's going to be a busy week. Yep, same here. At least we got coffee to get us through the day, right? Good idea. I'll catch you in the break room in a minute. Okay, so that was your second chance of reading this conversation. How did you do? Were you able to keep up with the speed of the conversation? Did you learn some useful phrases? Now remember, you can always go back, try it again. And remember, you can always pause it as well and read all of the phrases. There are so many useful English phrases here. These are really useful if you're going to work and you meet some friends and colleagues at work, but there's also useful phrases that you can use anywhere. So make sure you watch it again, review all the phrases, and if you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comment section. All right, but we're not done. We're not done yet. We're still going to go over five idioms from this conversation. Also, make sure if you're new to the channel, this is your first time watching one of my lessons. Hit that subscribe button. Give me a you know, thumbs up and hit the notification bell. All right, let's go over five of the idioms that I thought were useful. Number one, chill. Chill. This means to relax or take it easy. So I chilled at home. I relaxed at home. Number two, hit up, hit up. This means visited or went to. So I hit up the new trail. I went to the new trail. I hit up the ATM. I went to the ATM. Number three, a ton of, a ton of. This means you have a lot of, you have a lot of. So I have a ton of work to do. I have a lot of work to do. Number four, marathon, not a sprint. Marathon, not a sprint. This means a task will require a long-term effort and not a short effort, not a short burst. So you will need a long time to do something. You cannot do it very quickly and in a short time. All right, so it's a marathon, not a sprint. And number five, dive into. Dive into. This means you start something with enthusiasm. You start something with a lot of energy and commitment. All right, so I'm going to dive into work. Okay, so those were five of the idioms that I liked from this conversation. Now, there are other idioms that I use. And if you have any questions about those idioms, if you're not sure what they mean, please ask me in the comment section. 
You can always rewind, you can pause, you can see the idiom on the screen. So just let me know anytime. I definitely will answer all of your questions. Now, today's lesson is all about you practicing your speaking. You know, so it's really important that you read along, you try to read quickly, try to remember the phrases and build your fluency and build your vocabulary. So you can always come back and try this video many, many times to improve your speaking. I also have other videos as well, other speaking videos. So make sure you check those out as well. And before you go, if you're new, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up and hit the notification bell. All right, guys, until the next lesson, see ya. Thank you very much for watching today's speaking lesson. Today, we practice a conversation between two people on a Monday morning at work. We learned a lot of different phrases and idioms that will be useful for your English speaking to improve your fluency as well. If you liked today's lesson and if you think it was useful, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Give me a thumbs up and hit that notification bell. Until the next lesson, see ya.